Hello everyone, welcome to Basically Neda Reads, I'm Neda and in this video I'm going to talk about the three books that I read for the past week. So I'm, going, I'm not going to talk about the books that I finished in their order that I finished them, I'm going to talk about the books in the way that I enjoyed them. <laughs> so. I'm going to talk about the 5 star rated, and then the 4 star rated, and then the 3 star rated. So the 5 star rated was the Dead Cat Tales Assassin by P. Jelly Clark, and this is a novella. <laughs> so this was really fun to read. It was very captivating and interesting. So it's about a dead assassin who gets hired to go and kill someone <laughs> but when she gets to that person everything gets complicated and the tale goes from there <laughs> and yeah it was very fun it had a lot of action <laughs> it was very action-packed and you, the character building and the world building was very interesting and yeah it, the story was like flawless there was nothing that lagged and, or anything it just moved along very fast and there's a little twist at the end <laughs> so it was really fun to read so yeah, I, I really recommend this one um, and I wish P. Jelly Clark would write more novellas than just going into novels. Um, just stop writing novels <laughs> because I think his story, uh, his method of storytelling works very well in the novella form because um, I read A Master of Gin last year and I loved it, but it lagged. <laughs> it lagged at like the three quarter way, three quarters way of the book, and I just felt like it would have been better if it was a novella. So this one, when I picked this one up, it was just flawless and captivating, and the characters were written very well, like like a master of gin, and there was nothing for me to like criticize I enjoyed it so yeah um I fully recommend this pick it up it's so much fun and then my four star rating <laughs> is Stardust by Neil Gaiman I picked this one up a while ago in uh, last week of July first week of I guess I think and then I had my um, little episode of not reading <laughs> and I picked it up again and uh, this was very fun. This is a charming story about a young 17 year old boy who uh, goes to find a falling star for his love outside of their lands. <laughs> so. This was kind of like a very charming little um, whimsical fairy tale, um, a very British fairy tale in this case, and yeah, it was like there was a bit of uh, what do you call it, lagging in the middle, but it moved on. Like it worked its way, <laughs> and. Yeah, it's just, I don't know if you guys remember, the movie came out first. So in uh, like 2007, I saw the movie and then I guess the book came out after this. Um, I think it's 2009, let's see. Yeah, the book is made in 2009. So yeah, this, um, I guess he didn't like the way that the, the movie, the script was done and decide to write his own and the movie is more American whereas this is very British it's set during the Victorian era 
um, he quotes uh, like Dickens and uh, those kind of um, literary people. And then it's just very fairy tale, like British fairy tale. It's set right outside of London in a small village. But I think the other one was in New York. Like the movie was in New York. But yeah, um, I enjoyed it. <laughs> it just lagged a little bit. That's why I gave it a four star. I do recommend it if you guys want to have a little whimsical fairy tale. <laughs> there are, the witches are not as abrupt. And like, they're not as, um, they don't have as much time in these in this book as they did in the movie which is okay i guess um yeah that's all i can say about this and then the, the it's also like the the last book that i read which is my three star rating is a Dol dolores uh, claiborne by stephen king this one was not that much fun for me. <laughs> it's a it's a character driven book. Claire uh, Dolores Claiborne is telling her story. Um, there's nobody else talking. It's just her. She is telling her story to the police. She was the personal assistant of this rich woman who died, and she is now. A suspect in her death and she's just talking constantly talking and when they are asking her questions we don't actually hear them ask, ask or read th their questions uh, Dolores repeats their questions and then gives a really comment to that policeman or you know about something that they were talking about before and it's just a bit of a soap opera in my point of view. It wasn't something that I enjoy reading normally. I just picked it up because it's a thriller in a way. And I wanted to see how I would like thrillers. I mean, it's, it's written very cleverly. And it's if you like this kind of things, you would probably enjoy it. I just couldn't like empathize or you know identify with this character and it's very character driven so I just didn't like it <laughs> it just she, she I really didn't like this woman <laughs> I just found her very loud and complaining and yeah that's all about um, I'm going to say, just, I just didn't like her. Um, it was just my opinion. You might enjoy reading it, but I don't know. Um, I gave it a three star, as I said. I think I'm going to stop reading Stephen King novels because none of them have actually worked for me. So that's about it. Those are all the three books that I read this past week and a half and yeah let me know down below if you read any of these books how did you like it and is there any other books that you want to let me know about that I might like <laughs> for like the spooky season or whatever and thank you for watching if you like this video please make it a thumbs up if you want to see more of my content please press the subscribe button i will see you in the next one bye